Welcome to Zen Guidance Tarot. I'm very happy Spirit sent you this way. These readings are for Sun, Moon and Rising and sometimes Venus aspects. I've been meditating on your energies for the month and um, I hope that this vibration will help you. Please help me build a great channel by hitting the likes and subscribes and I really appreciate all that you do. These readings will not resonate with everybody. Um, parts of the reading may not resonate with you, Aries and just take what does and leave the rest. If you would like a more personalised reading, please see my details in the description box. Okay, let's see what cards we have for you, Aries. We have Temperance. You have the Hanged Man. We have the King of Cups, the Page of Pentacles and the Fool. Well, I'm going to shuffle again there. And again, sorry, butterfingers today. Just give me the energies for Aries. Going for one more card, Aries. Energy for Aries, please. Thank you. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look. We have the Temperance card, which is about bringing together um, elements of your life to elements of your life. It's kind of alchemy for the soul and it's something that's on your life path. There are lessons and adjustments that we make along the way. And this is kind of like uh, you've reached a certain level and you're bringing all of your experience and wisdom and knowledge together to help you move forward in a much stronger and cohesive way. And so the Temperance card is a kind of healing um, in that it kind of consolidates what we've done so far. Then we have the hanged man, which is the universe putting you on pause. Literally, there are things that need to fall into place. You kind of need to see things from a different perspective, maybe. Um, and there, are, there is some consideration and discernment. There's a process that needs to happen before things can move on. We have the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is quite a romantic fella. He's um, experienced and um, knowledgeable about the heart matters. He knows how to love, but he can also sometimes be um, a little kind of watery and nebulous and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Dreamlike. So we have this very romantic energy coming in here. And I'm not sure whether that's something you're aiming for or something that is currently with you. I will clarify later. We have the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page uh, of Pentacles, all Pentacles are Earth signs. So check out your um, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn energies around you. I do think, though, this is um, an energy coming in to move you forward, an opportunity in terms of career or work. So perhaps there's a, a, a decision here or, or there's a balance that you need to get between um, this King of Cups and this um, work energy of the Page of Pentacles. We have the Fool. Um, 
I kind of like the story of the fool, so I'm going to share it with you. In the traditional deck, we have a gentleman who has been living the life of Riley. He's had a great life, all the abundance, and he is becoming dissatisfied and bored with the status quo. And so he decides to shed all his worldly goods and go on this big mad adventure. And he takes very little with him. And what that process does is it shows him who he is. It's a, 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 a trip of self-discovery. And so what you leave behind are all the material things and focus on your faith, if you like, and on discovering the self. And so this is where we're going here with you. If you look clearly, this um, this lady has a, what looks like an amethyst crystal in her hand. An amethyst is um, about your spirituality. It's crown chakra, third eye chakra. And so it's about your clarity and spirituality. Then we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very wise in who she gives her love to. She has an awful lot of love to give. Um, but she's very discerning in where she gives that love. The Nine of Cups, the Wish card. Interesting because this card kept coming out in meditation for you. And I think that what we're looking for is some sort of um, high experience, Aries. You're looking for the, the full experience of love and abundance and, and joy. You want somewhere to put all of that love, I feel. Then we have the Devil card, which is about the things that hold you back, the ties that bind. He is a very good mirror, the Devil. He shows us where we are weakest, if we're willing to look. Uh, and once we've looked, I think we can release ourselves from those ties that bind, the addictions and the fears, etc. I'm going to clarify these cards now because I find the energy is quite interesting, Aries. Please clarify the temperance, the two of... Oh, I'm using the wrong cards. Sorry, let's start again. Interesting. What came out in that set of cards was the two of wands. So let's see what comes here. Five of Pentacles. I'm going to go on and clarify the rest before speaking. Thank you. Yes. There's quite a lot of cards here, Aries. But I think I know where we're going here. Okay, so the first uh, card that's been clarified is the Temperance card, and we have the Five of Pentacles over that. The Five of Pentacles is feeling left out in the cold, feeling like you haven't got a support system, uh, and not really seeing the opportunity to ask for help, not really seeing where there is help. And so the Temperance here is perhaps talking about you getting the balance between being self-sufficient and receiving. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles over the Hanged Man. So it seems that something is on pause here, something that, that you truly desire, that your um, pentacles are coming in, your foundation of financial security is coming in, but something is just um, in the works, shall we say. To clarify the King of Cups, I have the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So I'm going to do the Seven of Cups first because I believe it's important to your progress forward here. The Seven of Cups is about making a, a decision, quite an in-depth decision, where each cup is considered very carefully and diligently. Sometimes those cups might appear to be fruitful, but they, um, on closer inspection, don't have what we desire or it, you know, they have something that's not so nice. 
And so the sevens always ask for a deeper level of discernment, not to be so glib in making choices here. And perhaps that's why we have the hanged man here, is to hold you back a little bit so that you can um, consider more carefully. Because over that we have the eight of wands, which is fast movement forward. And perhaps there's too much speed going on in terms of you uh, making a decision or, or trying to move forward. Perhaps you need to ask for help. Over the Page of Pentacles, we have both the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, which I really like seeing. So the Eight of Pentacles talks about mastery, talks about specialising in something that you're passionate about, something that you're skilled at. So you're going to be able to stand in your passion, stand in something that you um, that is imbued within you and make it work for you. And then as you've made it work, Aries, you seem to have all the pentacles. You will be in a position to share of self, not just financially, but also emotionally, also from your skill set, etc. I'm going to clarify the full card now. Thank you. I have two cards out here. So the first one out was the Ten of Swords. So it's interesting that we have the Fool as a brand new start in the journey. It's the first card in the, in the deck. And we have the end of a toxic cycle here with the Ten of Swords. It feels like um, you're moving into a new sphere, Aries. It feels like um, there's a new step here in, in your life plan. The end of the pain, the end of the sorrow. And there you have the sorrow, the five of cups, no longer looking, or the, the tarot is asking you to not uh, look at what you have lost, but look at what remains as that what is that is what is solid. I will clarify the queen of cups now. Oh, <laughs> it just did itself. Um, judgment. You are going to make a judgment call. This is a decision based on where you're going to put your energy. wants to come out. Wow, okay, we have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is it's kind of a, a point after a, a moment of stress or a, a period of stress in our lives and um, there's a decision that's been made to leave the shores that are difficult and dangerous and move towards safer and calmer shores. Now if you can see we have in the boat with the lady we have a child. Now the child can be a, a person, a physical child, or it can also be a project, a creative project or something that's very close to us. And so it seems like you're going to be making or have already made a decision to um, make a new start here. I'll clarify the devil card. Okay. <laughs> decisions, decisions. We have the two of swords the two of swords is again about making a choice it's very much based on our emotions this card even though it's swords and it's about um, your mental process we have this body of water in the background um, behind the lady and we also have the moon and it's a new moon and so i feel from this that you will be able to um, you will make the choice to remove the blindfold on the situation and you will choose a direction. And the second card that fell out over the devil is the Wheel of Fortune. So there is the universe bringing you through the cycle once more and off into a new path, which is amazing, Aries. A very strong reading here. A couple of advice cards. First is brightness. Oh. And the second is consciousness. I'll do consciousness first. It talks about tapping into your intuition. It talks about realising who you are in the greater scheme of things and um, connecting yourself to all that is. And I know that kind of sounds um, a little bit ethereal, but there's a part of you that um, kind of breathes in that potential and breathes out your creativity. 
So please remember to tap into your intuition. Then we have, oh, can't even pick it up. We have the ripeness card. This is an, another um, interesting card for the fact that it shows the new moon here, which to me denotes a new start. And ripeness, as we all know, means there's a readiness. And so it seems like you're ready for this new part of your life now, Aries. I'm going to pick you one outcome card. You show me that one. That wants to come out. I'm going to take that one. The Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is about the harvest reaped. It's about watching your hard work pay off. Sometimes we can be slightly dissatisfied with our first go at planting crops, shall we say, or sowing seeds, but know that this is just another step on the pathway and that things will grow from here. So when you make your initial move um, to go forward in your talents and passions, Please remember that um, things will change and grow. There's nothing as constant as change. Okay, Aries, I wish you the best. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you next time.